What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to the Abyss Garage. And today we are working again on the shovel head chopper. Now, last time on the bike, I was able to go ahead and get uh, everything welded uh, up on it that I needed to get taken care of. So now that that big uh, hurdle is uh, reached and we are done with it, we are moving along. So actually uh, I decided, I probably should have filmed it, but um, I decided to do a little metal working on the frame itself and uh, where the hardtail kit itself spliced into the frame rails. I went ahead and actually uh, sanded them down and then used uh, Sharpie as like uh, a die and then a file and then filed everything smooth. So the transition's relatively seamless. And um, so what I'm gonna do now for today's video is we are gonna strip the rest of the paint that's on the frame itself get that taken off and then i have body filler so i'm going to be uh, applying body fill uh, filler on here just to smooth everything out um, again try to go for that 70s uh, vibe you know where you see everything um, i don't know if i'd say necessarily molded because i don't know if i'm not going to go crazy because the next windowed um, on this but i just want to smooth everything out make everything look uh, as good as it can be so that way um, we can get everything into primer. So that's what I have for today's video. So let's see how far uh, I can actually get accomplished today on the bike. All right, so we are 10 minutes in. Uh, I sprayed this paint rem or the oven uh, remover on 10 minutes ago, and let's see how it's working out. Not bad, not bad at all. So now I'm at the next step, uh, I guess, in this whole prep phase. And uh, now that the frame's cleaned up and uh, pretty much ready to go for primer, the gas tank is next on the list. And I need to make sure that there's no leaks, as I probably have mentioned before. A uh, little uh, note to anyone out there that's building. Uh, this tank in particular uses two uh, quarter-inch NPT bungs. So it's threaded for that setup. Uh, which kind of confused me. I'm not really used to that stuff. I'm, usually it's uh, like Harley's, it's 22 millimeter or 7 eighths, like bung size. So um, ironically enough, I found that a half inch 20 uh, chaser or like a thread chaser itself seemed to fit like very close to a quarter inch uh, NPT. Obviously I did not screw the threads up, but it was throwing me for a loop when I was looking online for pecocks. Uh, so besides that, I got two uh, bungs in there to block the pecocks. Got a funnel and I have uh, just some water here that I'm just going to fill the tank up itself and just uh, keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't leak uh, because if there is a pinhole leak somewhere I'd rather be able to uh, weld it up take care of it now before body work and paint. There we go.
Well, let's see if I can pick this up on the camera here, but uh, about, about 10 quarts of water. So I know that this holds about, this is a two and a half gallon tank. And uh, as you can see, the line is right to the top. So I couldn't have asked for um, any more water in there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit and just make sure um, that there's no water. That's why I was trying to be careful here not to spill anything, but uh, that's good. So now I'll know if I have a leak anywhere, I'll be able to see it, pick it up on uh, this part of the lift table ramp itself. All right, great news for me. This tank's been sitting here for quite a few minutes, filled up with water and it is not leaking a drop. So uh, this is something I honestly should have expected, uh, the tank not to leak, but uh, I always tend to uh, get the short end of the stick on things. So I just wanted to CYA here. So we are good to go and uh, go ahead and get this water drained out of the tank and uh, get it dried up. And so that way we're not uh, starting rust. And now, like I said before, it's on the Defender. So that is the second coat of epoxy primer from Eastwood. I have curing on the bike itself. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you guys saw in the clip uh, me spraying. That was the first time I've ever used a spray gun before. Um, so I'm actually really happy the way it turned out. Just trying to read the instructions, follow everything, and uh, you know basically get a really good result. Um, I have learned a lot from spraying this. Uh, today just as far as uh, the paint booth itself and then you know the the fan the blower that I'm using to uh, get the uh, the fumes out uh, maybe not the best setup I need a bigger fan itself either I gotta change it up or just kind of live with it for the time being since I'm only painting this bike uh, right now so um, you know we'll, I'll show you guys a close-up of everything it came out pretty good considering uh, what I'm working with here so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on the shovel head chopper build and uh, in the next stages it's going to be um, getting the filler like I had mentioned before and then a uh, high build uh, primer slash sealer so that way I can seal everything in and then get a good base coat down so uh, I'll see you guys around for the next video on this chopper build take it easy guys